Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now, without further ado, on to the reading. Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your June 2014 Tarot Scope and Mini Astrology Reading. Okay, these want to fly out. Oh, look at that. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice thing. Hmm. Okay. All right, we need some more for sure. And maybe one or two more. What do we got here? Hmm, I think we need to go even more. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Well, you know, these first few cards are pretty, pretty good here, over here. New beginning in Ace of Pentacles. So there's your new beginning in money. You know, there's some kind of new beginning in money uh, showing up for you guys. Um, new job, new promotion, new business, new investors. And the moon is there. So very often they'll talk about near the new or full moon. And we're going to get into that a little bit later in the, in the spread here. Uh, so there may be some connection to a lunar event. Moon also, though, is trusting your intuition. So definitely trust your intuition regarding, uh, you know, financial matters. Showing up by uh, the Empress in reverse and Page of Rods in reverse. So there's some, you know, this is um, Page of Rods in reverse. These are, pages are messengers. They bring the news, upright or reverse. And you could even just put it as good or bad, kind of. So sometimes, you know, Page in reverse could be not bad news, maybe, but disappointing news that you don't want to hear. And Empress in reverse is there, next to the moon. Empress in, is, um, well, it's a card of abundance. It could be sometime, it could be like somebody who's trying to get pregnant, maybe you find out you're not pregnant this time. That's one thing. It may have to do with somebody's mother, with the moon there, too. Because it's, Empress is uh, pregnancies, motherhood, mothers, these kind of energies. Uh, mother, grandmother, maternal line. I'm feeling more disappointment than uh, like fear, like something to worry about. I'm feeling more I'm just disappointed. Not like fear, like, oh God, somebody's sick or somebody's hurt. More like, oh, I'm just disappointed. I didn't get what I want. Um, you know, because another thing, Empress is a card of abundance. So, um, you know, maybe you didn't get what you want. But I wouldn't sweat it. If that's the case, you know, maybe you were wanting to do, uh, because it can definitely relate to financial stuff and abundance and physical, it's, she's in the physical world. The Empress is in the physical world, you know, she is with the harvest of the wheat and she's a pregnant, she's, you know, giving birth, she's totally immersed in earth. You know, she's earthy mama, you know, so she's in reverse, so it, it can have to do with, um, finances. Whatever the case, I wouldn't sweat it too much, because Ace of Pentacles with the moon, so something good is going to pop here. Um, and it does feel like this is something that's been kind of a continuous, you've been in something that's been sort of like a continuous uh, disappointment phase here. Because I've got Six of Rods in reverse. You know, this is not getting picked. You know, not getting the job, not getting the gig, not getting the promotion. Um, Nine of sor ro Swords. This is, I'm, so, I'm upset about it. I'm crying upset. Often Nine of Swords is a card of, I'm kind of hiding it though. I kind of put on a brave face to the world, but really it, it did hurt me. You know, and that's the thing of Scorpios too. They're very private. They don't want to show their emotions always. So, but it says in deep inside that it did hurt you. What's clear is not to hang on to it. Because Devil is here. Devil's a card of being in bondage. And secondly, both of these cards, it's Six of Cups in Reverse. Six of Cups upright is a card of, oh, something great from the past is going to pop up. Uh, this is like, no, the old way is not going to work anymore. And, and another thing this can tell us, too, is that if, if you're, sometimes if you're hoping to reconcile, sometimes the Six of Cups in reverse flat out will just say, no, we're not going to 
be able to work it out. We're not going to be able to recapture that past love here. Uh, we're not going to go back into the past, though. And Six of Cups in Reverse is not always a, a bad card. There is a connection to the past, however, which is interesting. You know, because this is kind of almost a reverse thing. This is the card of, no, we're not going to go back to the past. But um, Five of Cups is a card about, um, you know, looking at uh, spilled cups, looking at what went wrong, crying over spilt milk, basically. Uh, but the thing is, the Five of Cups is about turning your back on the good things that are, are really happening or, or are available to you by only focusing on what was wrong and what went bad. So it's, I, guess, I guess it's not the opposite. I guess it's saying, you know, stop looking at the past. You're missing out on what could be here. You know, you're missing out on what could actually be. There's something wonderful. And very often this is relationships too because the, the two cups are the two the people, the lovers, the two loves. Like there's a soulmate match waiting for you right around the bend, but you're so you're not looking there. You're only looking here, and you can you have to turn around and look at what else is available. And you know sometimes you'll miss it if you don't if you mess around for too long you'll miss it. You know this person may isn't going to wait forever. They're here now. They're ready for a relationship. They're here to fulfill the soul contract that the two of you may have. And if you turn away, you don't have to fulfill your soul contract. That's why this is a free will environment here, you know. And that's why a lot of people miss the boat. That happens, you know, you miss the boat. And it's not, nothing to get down on yourself about. Uh, and as a matter of fact, because of this, the way this spread is laid out here, it's like you still have time. You still have time to open up and, and look and, and be available. Don't miss that connection by being over here. And here comes your soulmate. And you're over here, and shoo, there they go. Here they come. There they go. See ya. <laughs> be here. Be. Don't look over there. Be here. Be ready. Be ready to get with them and connect and be unite. Okay. Uh, the, I wanted to. This guy is uh, here. King of Pentacles. He's the like the shining light in this little row here of this negative row we've got here. Um, he's a positive force for sure, and I say he, but actually in these general readings it could be male or female. Uh, probably Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Also, because he's near this new beginning and this moon thing, he just may be connected to the financial aspect of everything. He may be the guy, because he does, he holds the money out, he holds that pentacle out, he's, here you go. Just like the King of Cups holds out his cup to you, his love, he holds out the money to you. Here you go, he's holding the coin, he's holding the money. So he's here in a positive way. So he may have something to do with, or he or she, you getting this new opportunity for the money with the moon energy. Um, if you are, if this is, all this stuff is about relationship, he may be the, the soulmate that's coming along, he or she. And you're Scorpio, now he, he, your water, he may be Earth. He or she may be Earth. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, which is a nice vibe with Scorpio energy. Also, um, if that's the case, and he is uh, the new person that's trying to show up here, because the reason, too, the, the other reason I say that is similar to those cups being down. You cry, and what do you, you've turned your back. You can't, she's covering her face and covering her eyes. She doesn't see. I look at this card a lot. What are you turning your back from? Somebody who's pretty cool here, maybe, you know? Somebody in the upright position who could be really cool. Uh, the King of Pentacles is financially sound, too. I mean, whether he's a lover or who he or she's a lover or whoever they may be, you know, the pinnacle people are financially sound. They take care of their money. They know how to handle their money. They're good stewards of the money. So that'll be something. That's one less thing to worry about, right? <laughs> you don't have to support them. They have their own job, their own money. Okay. Um, all right, let's, let's move on to your chart now. Um, let's take and put Scorpio on the Ascendant. Um, the first thing that's happening is we are having a full moon on the... Uh, Friday the 13th, but don't get all freaked out about that. It's nothing to worry about. And it is, in fact, in the second house of money. Now, I hadn't really, you know, I don't look at this wheel ahead of time. I just grab it, and sure enough, isn't that crazy how this works? It's talking about Ace of Pentacles and a lunar event, full moon in your second house of money. It kind of, you know, corresponds there. So that is on Friday the 13th. So as I've said many times, I feel like that can be a real lucky day and a really good day. And that could be, for you, Scorpio, something, you know, positive financially could happen. And then the next thing that's going to happen is we're going to have that uh, new moon in Cancer on June 27th. 
and that is in your ninth house of religion, philosophy, long distance travel, education. So that's a great time for any of those things. Uh, a new moon is a new beginning. Do you want to take a course uh, or go back to school? Uh, do you want to take uh, get involved in some kind of spiritual thing? Or, you know, uh, us in the Northern Hemisphere, this is summertime. Is that just going to be your vacation? You're going to be traveling. You know, that, that's a great day to take your vacation or plan your vacation, you know, the 27th of June. Okay, that about does it for this month of June 2014. Uh, I want to thank everybody for liking and sharing and commenting on my videos. And I want to thank everybody who's been donating because for your donations it really makes it worthwhile for me to continue to do the free readings for everybody. Uh, before we go also I wanted to remind you again my book is on, for sale on Amazon, Tarot in the Modern World. It is a tarot book. If you're watching my videos to learn how to read tarot, well, this is the ideal book to get to go along with it. Um, it gives a well, it gives a little poem to remember the cards by. Maybe more for the beginner, but could hold insights for more seasoned readers. I give upright and reverse. And the other thing that I do is I give how to relate it to other cards. So therefore you can tie the whole reading together and it helps you to really tie the reading together because you really can't always just read the cards just one at a time. You know, you got to kind of put it all together and into a story. And I think this, uh, if you haven't been doing that thus far, this book could get you on your way to doing that. But, you know, it kind of shows you the way by the, relating to, to a few of the cards each time. And you'll start to get uh, your own meanings as time goes on. Easy to understand, you know, it's plain speak like I speak, so if you like my videos, chances are you might like the book. Okay, everyone, thanks again for watching, and remember you are love and beauty incarnate, and I'll speak to you soon.